How y'all doing this rusty with uh, Trailer Trash Custom Garage? This is update number two for the night. Um, this is uh, our Rat Rod project. Still haven't quite come up with a name for it yet. Uh, this one's been my main obsession lately. Um, haven't put many updates up the past couple of weeks. Been real busy between work and had a uh, outpatient surgery. Had my uh, had a cyst taken off my nose on Wednesday and uh, ended up having 12 stitches in my eye and it uh, kind of blew my building for most of the week up until yesterday, um, Saturday. Um, and I spent all day Saturday and all day today, which is Sunday, um, working on a couple of different uh, projects, mainly one being this rat rod, the other one being my bucket truck. Mainly doing brass work, soldering, and whatnot. Um, but, um, so here she is. This is where I'm at with her. Um, we're going to start off with the motor. Uh, decided to go with the Decided to go with 426 Emmy. Um, this motor's been together forever. Um, was going to put it into a car and then decided not to, and then we're going to put in another, and you know how that goes. Um, grafted a transmission from another vehicle. I'm not real sure what it is. I'm thinking it's a Ford tranny, um, but I'm not sure. I'm just guessing by the tranny pan that's a Ford. Um, probably going to rip it off, but a 350 or 400 turbo, or if you guys can suggest something better, that would be even, even cooler. Um, spent, uh, several hours looking at different websites, trying to figure out, I knew it came out of a pro, uh, pro stock dragster, or funny car or something, I think it came out of a funny car, but I couldn't remember where it came from, so I was trying to figure out where, uh, what these two black cylinders were. Well, finally figured it out. Um, and also, I was looking at the valve covers, and as you can see, eight little dots. Well, those are spark plug locations. So, uh, each cylinder is dual spark plugs. Didn't realize that. Started looking at some of the different pictures and um, found out what it was about. I was gonna post something as a shout out for help uh, one of my lifelines, I guess, if you will. Um, trying to find out what it was and how to fix it or where to go from it, but I got it. The main thing is going to be just doing a little bit more research, finding out exactly how to wire it from the distributors themselves to the, I guess, their MSD possibly, uh, ignitions. Um, go to the MSD boxes and where to go from there, but I'll figure that out. Um, but, and I still got to find somewhere, um, I may have to order some from a resin caster, the carburetors. Uh, that's how long ago that this motor was put together. I didn't really realize that I didn't have carburetors and that I needed carburetors back then. So I just glued it to the, uh, to the, um, super super glued the, uh, scoop to the blower housing itself, uh, intake housing. So, I'm going to figure it from there. But, this is kind of the cool part. Um, it's been so long that I've lost all the parts for it, apparently, right? Well, I lost the oil pan, too, so I just decided I'm going to build my own oil pan. What the hell? So, so just some styrene uh, glued together. I'm going to kind of mold it so it looks nice and smooth. Um, mold in some rounded edges and shape it and we're going to be good so that's the motor there you go um, of course it's a 50 pickup uh, street machine 50 street machine uh, Chevy pickup um, really the only thing left of it is the cab and what's left of the bed 
shortened it, narrowed it, um, and of course, put a diamond plate in the bed. Still trying to figure out if I'm gonna what I'm gonna do as far as the diamond plate. I saw somebody posted some posted a a rat rod dually tow truck. I don't remember exactly who it is. Forgive me. Beautiful truck, by the way. Uh, but they used bare metal to uh, chrome out their diamond plate. I was thinking about that, then I saw their video, and I was like, man, I don't want to copy that. I don't want it to seem like I'm copying it. Um, so I started thinking about maybe flat black for rhino lining, but I think I'm going to chrome blade it just because. Um, but also part of the bed, what I've been working on the past couple of days, my gas tank. Um, all brass. Um, made the filler neck. Um, of course, the tank itself is all brass. And then made uh, mounting bars for it. Pretty little piece. I love her. Um, I was initially had it built so that it was going to be as Chevy's typically are on the driver's side of the gas tank, but it just looked better with the way that I built the filler neck for it to, uh, for the filler neck to point towards the passenger side. So there you go. Also, 57, the 50 Chevy Strip Machine comes with this nice little um, front window visor. Thinking about using that, um, shaving it down, making it kind of fit uh, my own needs on this project. <clears throat> I don't know, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to use, decided to use the uh, rear end from the 66 Nova. Um, love this rear end. And I think... I think I'm going to try my hand at resin casting. And this is probably going to be my first project. Um, I'm probably going to end up buying another 66 Nova kit, which this came from. Because there's so many cool parts in that kit, the tubs, the entire chassis is awesome, the motor's cool, the rear end, um, the hood scoop, just a plethora of cool parts, and I'm probably going to resin cast all of them that I like, um, just for my own purposes, um, but we'll see where that goes. Um, other than that, uh, Model Mind 72, gotta give you a shout out, bro. Appreciate your uh, your help, your encouragement, man. Um, he's been helping me come up with some different ideas on the front end. Didn't know what I was going to do on the suspension on the front end. Um, originally wanted to use the stock I-beam that came in the kit. It's cool. It's nice. Um, it's pretty decent for a kit. I like it. But... All this scratch building that I did with the frame and everything else. As you can see, this was originally the frame. And in order to get it in the weeds, I'm actually adjusting the frame. This part's going to cut out. Um, he suggested scratch build that front end, man. Scratch build it. you got so much going on. Just do it, man. Take the dive. So, decided to do it out of brass. Um... Don't think I'll ever do that again. This is the biggest nightmare I've come across in model building. Um, it's a learning experience. It's very cool. Um, instead of going with just typical square or round tube, I decided to go with square tube, tilt it at a 45, give it a different look. And that has turned out to be the biggest nightmare beyond belief for me. So um, that's where she's at right now. Um, as you can see, if I can get them to sit on top of each other, we'll be good. So, she's gonna have a decent, decent drop to her. Um, well, you can't really tell. It's gonna have about a three inch scale drop when they line up right. Um, compared to the original drop axle that came with the kit. 
Um, I'm actually thinking about moving the uh, the spindle rod up, maybe another two or three scale inches, just to get it that much further down. But I don't think I would need to, honestly. But I'll make the suggestion if you uh, you guys are looking to do one out of brass, don't. It's a major headache. It's going to be easier to do it out of square styrene stock. Um, I'm probably going to finish this one and hang it on the wall as a reminder to never try that again or maybe when I'm well seasoned later on but I'm probably going to rebuild it out of styrene and uh, on these um, alternate sections I'm going to drill holes just like this one um, and they're going to alternate from each side back and forth just kind of for looks um, but that's kind of where I'm at on this one um, if you guys got any suggestions questions comments concerns good or bad let me know I appreciate them you guys have a great night